What is going on? Welcome on into another video. This video is about patch 1.07 and the changes that I have actually figured out or at least also the ones that I'm feeling and I really want to make this video to get your feels on whether or not you think some changes have happened since this past patch. The patch came out on December 16th so a little over a week ago and you know 2k is very limited in their responses on what is actually in a patch. So it was really just a hot fix to fix the crashing. Uh, also the 2v2, the 4v4, or not the 4v4, but the 4 player multiplayer mode. Uh, a lot of the crashing and it was a hot fix to fix those issues. Now I do notice that there are still a lot of those crashings happening. So hopefully more tweaks keep on happening. And then, but it was very limited in the actual response. But there were some gameplay factors that I have noticed since that past patch. And uh, I can actually prove at least one of them. And I kind of want to get your thoughts on whether or not you have picked up on some of these as well, which is not a problem. I don't mind. Uh, and if you saw my video yesterday, I don't mind changes. I don't mind improvements to the game. Uh, it's just the fittings and changing my bag completely has been quite costly when it comes to the uh, VC that it costs. But let's dive right on into it. I do not want to waste too much of your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I try to keep you guys updated. Also, I do live streams, which all my live streams are Q&A, so you guys can hop in, uh, drop your thoughts, put in any recommendations, ask questions about the game. Yesterday, somebody asked me a full-scale question about fittings and everything, and I went deep-dived into it. I don't mind. I do these live streams on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wednesdays is usually a night stream, so it's like 4.30, 5, 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And then I do another one on Saturday mornings, around 10 11 a.m eastern standard time and i usually put out a day before um, a little upcoming uh, post on my channel just to give you guys a heads up so feel free to hop in ask whatever questions and uh, feel just drop in some questions down below if you guys want but let's start covering some of these changes so right now i'm going to show you guys i did this test for lie range about a month ago and I showed a 90, a high 90s versus a low 70s lie range. And the fact is that there was really only a 1% difference between the heavy rough and on the high versus the low. So I showed like lie range really had no effect in it whatsoever. And it was around 77 to 86% just like I have here for the high number. And then the low number in the low 70s was like 75%. So it really only dropped like 1 or 2%. And I don't know if a dev saw my video or whether or not they just figured it out on their own that somebody made a mistake along the way and lie range really had no impact on a high versus a low and you really didn't have to focus on that. So let me just show you guys real quick right here. This is obviously my gap wedge. I have my high rating here. So you guys can see it's 77 to 86%. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to switch out to my low rating. And I'll go to the exact same spot. I have it marked off. Same spot that I used in the previous test as well. And you're going to see that there is a difference now. And lie range is a major factor, which has been a huge difference. Now I'm going back to, it's going to be a 72 rating. So, like, I, I didn't spend any points. I didn't worry about any of my fittings having a high lie range because it really did no factor and I didn't want to focus on it. But now I had to change my bag completely as one of the reasons why I needed to uh, focus on this. And that's simply because lie range matters now. And you can, you can see big differences here. Now, I, I don't know if essentially um, there was a tweak or maybe this is an anomaly, but yeah. 63% now for, for the low range. So you can definitely see a major impact here for the high versus the low. So this is now 72 and I'm dropping about 10%, 10 to 12% right there just from going down 20 points in the lie range. So uh, it's definitely something you have to focus on and something that you have to consider as well that you can't just get away with a low lie range like previously. And um, I, I don't I don't know exactly the extent of the change. Um, but essentially, that's pretty much where I came across for the lie range. And and now that change has happened, which, like I said, I don't, I don't have a communications with the devs. It's a change that I noticed. It's something that I played and I noticed. And, and that's pretty much how that goes. Now, the other things that I have noticed, um, and I could just be me in the way that I play, or maybe you guys are also seeing it as well. Putting 
is something that I really noticed as well. The ball rolls out a lot more, especially when you play on faster, firmer greens. And I was always and have been an advocate on putt path is more important than putt weight because I put them side by side by side and I saw a major difference in putt path and the the having a bigger putt path and you can get away with a 62 overall putt weight because the ball would roll out on fast greens, whether it's 62 or 95, the exact same. And I tested all of that out. Um, but I have noticed since that past update, the balls are rolling out a lot more on putts. If you are missing the areas, and I don't, and the reason I don't, I can't test this because I don't have um, a video from previous about the putt weight and the size of the, the distance, like the, the white bar and the gray bar. So I don't have a direct comparison that I can use, but I have noticed completely that it has changed. Um, and that, that could just be, like I said, it could be my feel, but I do notice the ball has been rolling out a lot more downhills and um, putt weight is, I, I firmly believe putt weight is more important than putt path now than it was previously. And I don't know if that change has just come with the recent one uh, or what, but I do recommend switching more to a putt weight and making sure your ball is not rolling out crazy downhill anymore because I do believe there is a focus more on that. The other thing that has caused me to drastically change my bag, and uh, these are essentially the numbers that I'm aiming for right now in my entire bag, which is uh, mid to high power, uh, timing around 85, swing path around 85, 86, transition, uh, high 70s, if I can get it up there, and then lie range somewhere in the 90s. So this is this is essentially what I've been looking on. Completely rearranging my bag. It's cost me a lot of EC. It's cost me a lot of time. But this is essentially why I'm focusing on it because I also noticed that um, swing path, now I put the meters and I'll show you guys the comparison right here from pre and post patch. But there, there really is no difference. If there is, there is a marginal since the patch. But I do feel like when I'm actually playing, and it could just be my meters, but um, there, there, there felt a difference. Like uh, I feel like you're a little bit more punished for a lower swing path than you previously were, and I hadn't changed any of my my uh, my clubs or anything. So I've focused a little bit more on changing my numbers to a little bit more heavy on the timing and the swing path. I am still using the Woodsman build simply because that lie range factor is a major factor now compared to what it was previously, um, and just my testing. So. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. If uh, you noticed any other changes that I've missed or um, maybe you haven't noticed any of these changes and it's just something that I'm feeling compared to what I was a week ago, who knows? But I just always try to give you guys this information as much as possible. Do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys Saturday for another live Q&A and TGC Tour round three and four.